Hi, this is Peter from Solar Project. I'm often asked what we mean by the maximum head of a pump and what the implications are when selecting a pump for use in a solar or an irrigation system. To do this, I'm using my own SP2020 12 volt DC pump. Initially, I'm connecting it to a fairly broad 10 millimeter internal diameter pipe of silicone and I'm immersing the whole pump for simplicity in a bowl of water to look at the flow rate with very little restriction applied. So it's a 10 millimeter internal diameter. I connect up the pump and it immediately begins pumping a very strong steady flow and if I measure that flow by timing how long it takes to fill a one litre tub, I can assess that flow rate at around about the manufacturer's specification level of five to six litres per minute at 12 volts DC. If by contrast I then attach a longer length of narrower bore pipe in this case 10 meters of 7 millimeter internal bore pipe so that's 7 millimeters versus the previous 10 millimeters and 10 meters in length of this pipe clearly there is an impact on the flow rate the friction of the pipe being longer and thinner slows the flow rate down from 6 litres to something rather closer to 2 litres. This is a very useful property of these pumps in that we can adjust the flow rate within a given circuit simply by applying some form of restrictor somewhere within the circuit. I often use a gate valve for that purpose. So there we have reduced the flow rate from 6 litres unrestricted to somewhere nearer 2 litres which by coincidence is the optimum flow rate for most solar water systems involving one or two evacuated tube panels. The maximum head of a pump is the height at which the flow rate ceases as the outlet gets higher and higher. So if I lift the outlet, the pump is having to work harder and harder to push the water against gravity. And in this case, as I approach the design head of 2.2 meters, the flow reduces dramatically to a trickle. And when I get to about 2.4 meters, the flow rate will stop altogether. However, it is important to understand that the restriction of pump head need not be a factor when selecting a pump for a solar application. Most solar panels are located above the level of a hot water tank which I've simulated here by lifting the pipe but not the outlet to a height of two and a half meters. This is a closed circuit. The water flowing up is counteracted by the weight of the water being pulled back down the pipe around this closed circuit. For this reason the pump head does not determine the maximum height between the solar panels and your hot water tank. You can see here that the flow rate is not affected by my lifting the pipework above it to a height of two and a half meters. So provided that the pipes are full of water, the water will flow round rather like a bicycle wheel, revolving slowly with one side counteracting the other. So within a closed circuit, 
A pump with a head of perhaps two metres can handle up to five metres difference in height. This is the SP2020 from www.solarproject.co.uk